trans women versus voice training. With practice, you can achieve a passable female voice. Wait, for real? But it takes hard work. No problem. Lots of hours. Easy. I need this in my life. You'll have to record and listen to your voice. And she's gone. Hey, chat. This is my girlfriend. Yeah, I got boyfriend. Go boyfriend, girlfriend. The, boy the, ma the boyfriend. Male. <laughs> boyfriend, <laughs> girlfriend, like bracket male. Boyfriend, girlfriend. Boyfriend, girlfriend. Yeah. All right. Boyfriend bracket male. Boy no. Boyfriend derogatory. This is my girlfriend uh, bracket male. Girlfriend. Her pronouns are he him. Her <laughs> pronouns are he him. All right. Fuck girlfriend Finn. Aren't you my girlfriend right now? You look in that camera and you say that you're my boyfriend. It's uh, not believable. Do it. Let's go on Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Our gender, it's broken. When I came out as transgender, I asked my school to change my name in their system. And the school I went to would typically take their sweet time doing anything they were asked. But not with this name change. Because when I went into school the next day, the teacher called my preferred name during attendance. The whole class was looking around the room for a new student or something as I just slowly raised my hand. So thank you middle school attendants for telling everyone my new name so I didn't have to. You put a lot of trans fans into one room and they're all starting to date each other. But they're all bottoms and blushing and shy and they just want this one top to pin them to the wall. And if there is one top, then they all gather around and they just open their polycule and just date everyone that is in this room because there's one top and they don't want to share but they have to that is trans femme dating everyone just f each other. <laughs> are there any drugs in this house if there Put are that down for a second. if there are you better find them and give them to me immediately no they're not no drugs in the house right not now. that i know about if i know about them i'll find them and throw them away it's not a big deal Ooh, drugs in the house. Oh, we're all gonna die. Trans women versus budgeting. How much do you want, HRT? More than anything in the world. But more than Taco Tuesday. Do not bring Taco Tuesday into if this. If you want to afford estrogen, it's the only way. I don't know if I'm strong enough. We all must make sacrifices in life for Yoda. Even if sometimes that means sacrificing tacos. Fine. I'll slow down on the tacos. Uh, today my paper is gonna be... Why are you hard? What's wrong with you? That is none of your concern. It is my concern. Trans women anime protagonist. Number three is Lily from Zombieland Saga. She literally had a heart attack because of gender dysphoria. Number two is Urushibara from Steins Gate. Being assigned male at birth, she tries to travel time to rewrite history, so she's assigned female at birth. And number one is Hannah from Tokyo Godfathers. Tokyo Godfathers is one of the most ahead of its time representations of trans women in general. If you're looking for a story about transitioning, then try Wandering Sun. A bonus character for you is Kaori from Wandering Egg Priority. A lot of people wanted me to mention them here. I get in here, I need to- Oh my god! It's like looking in a mirror! No, it isn't, Jean. Who's Jean? I already can't tell who's who. Take that stuff off. Lynn, get in here and settle this! Don't call your mother Lynn. What? Oh, what? Hey, whoa, travel size bomb! Aww. Linda, you're encouraging him. I need the bathroom. Oh, wow, this is confusing. No, it's not! You have got to watch this transgender girl in high school speaking to the Central Bucks County School District. You see, they had just gotten voted out of power, and in one final act, on their last school board meeting, they banned trans youth from sports and then gave the outgoing superintendent a $700,000 severance package, unprecedented for the area. So, for the last time, this trans girl named Lily stood up and spoke to the school board and told them exactly what their policies had done and what they're going to do next. Watch her to the end. As you know, my name is Lily and I am a senior at CB East. I wanted to start off with thanking Dr. Delangelo for your service on the board. It means so much to me. I wanted to speak tonight to get my closure to you 
the current board majority. I realize that no amount of words I say will make you understand or listen to the sheer damage that you have done to my family. Damage that continues tonight as you vote to pass policy 123.3. Unlike many of my peers, I spent my time in Central Bucks in fear. Fear for my life, fear for my family, and fear of you. You have stolen years from me, something that I can never get back. I mourn every day how I will never have experienced a secondary education where I was treated like a human by this board majority. Because it was never about protecting kids. It was about erasing people like me from Central Bucks. If it wasn't, then why have countless situations of my life being threatened or reduced to a subhuman level have been left unaddressed or not properly handled, even being considered a predator in bathrooms, in locker rooms, and today in sports? And even with such gross negligence, you continue to make policy after policy preventing people like me from just living our lives and seeing ourselves in the world around us. So I did what I could. I spoke out. I came to these school board meetings. I participated in the student focus groups with the superintendent, conversations with my principals, and still here you are, gazing at me with blank, lifeless stares, closed off to the voice of a teenage girl whose life can be crushed and altered in the palm of your hand, with a yay vote the signing of yet another policy. To the students that are here for the history class, this is my message for you. Keep speaking up for yourself. Even when there are some people who will refuse to listen, there are people everywhere who you inspire and who will lift you up. You are not alone. Even if it is the most isolating feeling, your voice has power and it has the ability to insight change. To Dr. Lukaba, and I know you are listening. To Dr. Lukaba, you have proven to be a coward. I have been speaking to you since I was in seventh grade to effect positive change in the district, but it is evident now that you have not followed through on anything that we have discussed. In fact, you have been a willing participant in the nonsense and harm. How can anyone in administration see the hurt that me and many other students have brought to these meetings and just say, well, we need to move past it? Well, Dr. Lukaba, I can't move past it. It is my life. It is my day to day. It is my truth. With each day you have sat as the superintendent, my life has been stripped away from me. I hope that every day that you think about my face and how you have utterly failed me, and I hope that all of you on the current board majority takes all of this away too. But hey, at least you make an amazing college essay and first AP art piece. Thank you. <laughs> That was incredible. You see, in the previous election, the Republicans up there, they lost the school board. Democrats swept the seats. And so the incoming administration is going to reverse the trans athlete policy and so many of the other harmful policies that Lily talked about. But that only happened because people like Lily stood up. That only happened because young people in the community realized that local races matter, that local politics are where you change things. So anyway, congratulations, Central Bucks County. And give him hell, Lily. When I pull out my wiener, that's when the magic happens. Everybody wants to take a picture. Everyone's going bananas over this thing. Stained glass window, candelabras, eat my ass like a chupacabra. Show me where you're pissed from. Trans women trying to relate with men. I'm going to the gym. You want to come with? You mean go work out with a bunch of sweaty men? I am in. What? I said, let's go get jacked. I even have protein mix. But that's soy protein. So? It's like plant estrogen or something like that. Estrogen? Plant estrogen. It's not the same as estrogen. Ryota, that's not how any of this works. I'll preemptively call an ambulance. I love seeing baby trans women glow up. You follow some, like, twink guy who's, like, experimenting with makeup, and then, like, Forget about them for a year, year and a half, and then you see the hottest woman you have ever seen in your entire life. It's just neat. It's cool. I like it. As a trans woman, you might have had a situation kind of like this. Nah, what are you supposed to be? Some pretty boy? Oh, thanks. Meek shoulders, long hair, clean hands. I don't even know if I could call you a man. Thank you again. Wow. Do not thank me. I am belittling and you. And you, sir, are doing a terrible job at that. You literally just made my day.
I'm gonna go now. You look very angry. Okay, bye. I'm mad because I am a woman. You haven't experienced other typical things like periods or pregnancy. You haven't experienced other typical things of a man, like having a girlfriend or a fully connecting beard. You must not be a man, you must be a nuisance. My mom first walked in on me pre-transition wearing a skirt and a crop top. She looked at me and she goes, oh, honey, those colors don't match, baby. I think you got the wrong flag. Pick my Halloween cosplay. All you moms out there, don't forget to check your kids' Halloween candy this Halloween night. My, my son got this in his Whoppers. I have no idea what this is. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. He's actually a boy. Oh, sorry, he's so cute. Oh my God, girl, you're so cute. Oh, I'm actually not a girl, but thank you. You look like a girl. I want to start a family with you. What? Trans women versus dating apps. Dudes actually send these? I've seen too much. It's like scrolling through a deli. My innocence is shattered. What is wrong with people? Usually the shape. Oh my god. And if it's not that, then it's the size. Oh my god. Too big. I didn't mean it like that. I'm damaged beyond repair. I'm uninstalling this app for you. Please do, Ezekiel. And there's another one. Yep, uninstalling. <laughs> Stick to meeting people through games. <laughs> Wendy's as the Wendy's girl. Bitch, I said what I said. I'd rather be famous instead. I let all that get to my head. I don't care, I paint the town red. Bitch, I said what I said. I'd rather be famous instead. I let all that get to my head. I don't care, I paint the town red. Oh, okay. I will still pronounce you he him because that's your real gender. I feel like this was supposed to be transphobic, but man underscore face, I guess, is now an accidental ally. I can't understand if he's a boy girl or a girl bi. Man, neither do I. What the heck does this even mean? So, like, you have the power to switch which bathroom you want to be in? That's amazing. I have not been in a women's restroom since I was 12 years old. I think it's fine if people are trans or bi, but there's a limit, and I don't think you should identify as a microwave or attack helicopter. Beep. Just remember, that the Bible says being bisexual is okay. It says Adam and Eve, not Adam or Eve. It's called the Bible. Not a straight bowl. Check my cushions. <laughs> Look at my son. Pride is not the word I'm looking for. Who are you? I'm Gwen Stacy. I'm from another, another dimension. How many I got this new binder and um what the fuck? What the fuck? How is this possible? Magic's real. I have a daughter that transitioned into a son. Um my 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 daughter on my is now Kai. True. And so I yeah, True. and so I talk about the transition. Mm -hmm. Not her trans his their transition, but my transition as a parent going from ignorance and denial 
to complete unconditional love and yeah, acceptance. You got you, you got and I think there's a lot of parents out there that need to have that message. And I know I'm dealing with it. It was a very painful situation for me. Mm -hmm. But man, it's one of the best, funniest hours I, <laughs> I probably could ever imagine. I can't see a child come up to you and asking you because you, you joke too much. So I can see a child say, Dad, I'm thinking of transitioning. And I, I can just see you take nothing serious. I, I always joke. They know. I told my daughter, I said, I said nigga, you transitioning to your brother. You look just like him. <laughs> see? I can't tell the difference between her and Sean. Like, I swear to God. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 23 and 21. Oh, so but I got to respect their wishes right? right and 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 that takes as a parent i just want my kids to be free i want them to be free in spirit free in thought free to be themselves the the more you know yourself the more you can govern yourself the more you live your truth the happier your existence so if they can't get that in the household with their father and their mother how the fuck do i send them out into the world mm -hmm. to with that kind of confidence right. and I'm just so proud of them for being them but that don't mean that they ain't got jokes <laughs> bitches femboy friday femboys by my side they be looking so kawaii I don't care if you don't like it hey femboy friday is the best femboys nuzzle on my chest got my felix body pillow about to take that bitch to bed bitches femboy friday femboys by my side they be looking